Hey guys, today we'll be having a review of this Nokia 2. And well, maybe you've read it from the title, but yes, today we're gonna take a look at the Nokia 2 running Android Oreo. Finally, it's been a it's been I can't really explain how long it took for HMD to update this device to Android Oreo, but here it goes. Mmm, yes. Sweet Oreo right here. And as you can see, we have the Oreo logo right here. It's running in the Beta Labs program. I've left a link in the description uh, below so that you can uh, register your own device onto the Oreo Beta Labs for Nokia 2. Now let's check out the new features of Oreo and just have a general feel on how the system responds under Oreo. So the first difference I want to mention to you guys is, of course, the launcher. So, um, as you know, all of the HMD Nokia phones that run Android is using the Pixel Launcher, or a derivative of it. I don't really know if it's the Pixel Launcher or not, but it's the Pixel Launcher look-alike, as I like to say it. And the new thing about this version of the launcher is that you can set your icon shape. So as you can see, I've set it to circle, but then you can switch it to, for example, swirkle, and it will change all the icons on your home screen into your desired shape, which is really nice. Which is really nice. As you can see, all the icons have changed into this swirkle shape, which is really amazing. Um, you previously couldn't do that in NuGet, but now you can. But yeah, it's a nifty feature that most Android customizers would love, but personally, I don't really use it. I love the circle icon theme anyways. So, yeah, I don't really use it. Uh, the next difference I want to show to you is, of course, the notification center of Android Oreo. It's completely revamped in Android Oreo. And as you can see, you've got these minimized notifications. that You can tap the arrow to expand, which is really nifty. And you also got this new quick action center, or quick toggle center. And you can customize it to your liking. And now it comes in white color. Before it used to be a dark green color, now it's a white color. And I much prefer the new theme compared to the old theme. It just looks much better. But as you can see, there's a little bit of noticeable lag when scrolling down or expanding the quick toggles area. So I don't really know what's causing this. It did not happen in NuGet, so I hope HMD Global will fix it sometime around later. And of course, you got this new date indicator right here. Previously, you only saw the time. And of course, you can also see my uh, network operator. So that's the difference in the Quick Toggle Center. Now let's move on to other new features offered in Android Oreo, such as picture-in-picture -picture mode. So for example, I can launch up Google Maps right here. Let's give it a moment. Of course, let's go to the nearest gas station. And as you can see, the device still feels quite laggy, but if you're a little bit patient, you can get right. You can get around it. Let's go to the nearest Petronas. Mm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, this this one. So I tap it, and then let's go to the directions. and tap start. Okay. I tap start already. Let's give it some time. Okay. Now that the UI has loaded, basically by tapping the home button, um a picture in picture mode should appear in this corner. It doesn't seem like so. Anyways, doesn't look like it's now available in Google Maps. Let's try with another app. For example, you have got Chrome right here. The last time I tried Google Maps, it worked, but guess but guess what? It goes wrong right when I want to preview it to you guys. But anyways, let's go to vimeo.com. And of course, I've watched several videos about this topic. Let's just go to Vimeo. Let's search 
for a video. Let's go on on the no 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 uh, search for videos. Uh, maybe nature. Yeah. Hopefully my channel won't get copyright striked after this. Sorry Vimeo. Okay, we'll try this video right here. Just give it a moment. Hopefully when I press play. Every day, everywhere. Grow and I can just tap home. Hmm. Weird. Doesn't seem like it wants to work in picture to picture mode. So let's try something else. Maybe you need to set a permission here. Oh yeah, it's already allowed, so I don't know what's wrong with that. Maybe they blocked it, but previously when I tried, it worked. So I don't really know what's going on. Anyways, there are many other features I'd like to show you in Oreo. For example, in settings, the whole settings menu has been reorganized. You got these search and many other things grouped into these tiny subcategories, which I really love. It's so much better in Oreo when compared to NuGet, and I really appreciate that they're trying to do improvements to the settings menu. Anyways, let's just go dive into About, and as you can see, we're running 8.1 with the June security patch. Everything seems to be newer. You got this new certification section, which contains all the certifications for this device, and where you can operate it, which is really neat. Under NuGet, you just, you don't have it. Okay, let's go to the gestures menu. On Oreo, you get two new gestures, turn over to reject call, and mute on pickup. Jump to camera is always here, of course, but these new features are quite neat, as I just need to pick up my phone to mute the ringer. Pretty nice idea. So that was the new settings menu. Now, let's move on to the Play Store. Now, the Play Store is a bit different on this device when compared to NuGet. As you can see, um, I don't know if you can see clearly. Let me focus on it. Okay, so you can see the megabytes right here. 96 megabytes, 86 megabytes, 22 megabytes. This is a new feature, I think. It was introduced in Android Oreo uh, Go Edition, and it aims to provide you more knowledge about which apps you download and which ones are lighter apps and I really appreciate it on such a low-end device because then you can know which app you can run properly on this device and which app you can't especially with the paltry 8 gigabytes of storage in this device that's a really nice idea to have so that's it for the Play Store now moving on to the navigation switcher it's a little bit different now it's not that usual Android stack view that you used to have, but now you're having this kind of card-like view with the clear all button right here. And I really appreciate the new clear all button because you can close all your apps with a click of a button. And that's something that's I hope that uh, Google will implement in the next release of Android, which is Android P. So yeah, that's it. Those were the new features of Android Oreo on the Nokia 2. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to thumbs up if you liked it. And what do you think of this release? Please drop a comment below and I'll see you again soon.